In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus CaNO3 2. This is sodium carbonate plus calcium nitrate. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. You can see I have one nitrate ion here, but two of them here. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the NaNO3. That balances the nitrates, and it also balances the sodium, and everything else is good. So this is the molecular equation. It's balanced. Now we need to write the states in for each substance. Sodium compounds, very soluble. We we'll put an AQ here to show that it's aqueous in water. Nitrate compounds as well are very soluble. Put an AQ. Again, we have another sodium and again a nitrate. This will be soluble, aqueous. But calcium carbonate, that's one you probably want to look up on a table of solubility if you don't have it memorized. So calcium carbonate, here's calcium and here's our carbonate, and if we go over, we see it's insoluble. That means it's not going to dissolve in water. When these two substances react, this will form a solid. It'll be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. I'm going to write an S for solid there. So we have our states. Next, we split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions. This is the complete ionic equation. Sometimes it's called the total ionic equation. So we need to know the charges on each compound. Sodium's in group one, that'll have a one plus charge. The carbonate ion, good one to remember, that's always two minus. So we'll have Na plus, and because of that subscript, we'll have two of those. And I'll write aqueous at the end, I won't write that now. Plus we have our carbonate ion, CO3, two minus. Then calcium, that's in group two, that has a two plus nitrate, that has a one minus charge. So we have Ca2 plus, plus the nitrate ion, but we have two of these nitrate ions. So we'll put two NO3 minus, and these are the reactants. For the products, we said plus and minus here. So we have two sodium ions. We have two nitrate ions. And then for the calcium carbonate, that's a solid. So when we do net ionic equations, we do not split solids apart. So we'll just write Ca CO3, and those are the products. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They'll be on both sides of the equation. They don't really change, so we're not interested in them. We have two sodium ions here in the reactants, two in the products. Let's get rid of those. Carbonate, we have two nitrate ions here and two nitrate ions here in the products. We can get rid of those. But everything else is unique. So this is the net ionic equation. I'll clean this up and write the states in and we'll have our net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus CaNO3 2. So this is the net ionic equation. Often you'll see the positive ion written first. It really doesn't matter, but let's do that. There we go. So this is our net ionic equation. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for sodium carbonate plus calcium nitrate. Thanks for watching.